Hi, my name is Tommy. Welcome back. So today I want to do a review of the Zeta AR from Arcterix after two years that I've been using this jacket. This is a Gore-Tex shell and uh, we're going to go around a few of the features and the things that I like and the things that I don't like about this jacket. So before we go any further, I would invite you to subscribe to the video if you like this kind of uh, content. And without any further ado, uh, we're going to get into the nitty gritty. So like I mentioned, this is a Gore-Tex shell and, and there's many types of shells that you can get. So if you get into the Gore-Tex system, it's because you already have a layering system or you want to implement a layering system in your uh, outdoor activities. Now, the Gore-Tex uh, is something that need maintenance and regardless of any brand, uh, as soon as you get into Gore-Tex, the price of your hard shell will go now, if you decide to spend the money on a Gore-Tex shell, uh, it's not like, okay, I spend the money, I'm covered, everything's fine. This jacket will need maintenance. Now, if you already own a, a Gore-Tex shell and, and you want to know more about the Zeta AR, you're going to have to fast forward this bit, but uh, you need to know that there's maintenance attached to a shell like this. So in regards to this, uh, the way the, the, the material is laminated together. There's an outer shell, there's the, Gore, the, the Gore-Tex, and then there's, like in my case, it's called a C-knit material. Uh, so it's a three-layer uh, fabric, and then uh, the other fabric beats the water off to a point when when it gets oily, when it gets dirty, and it starts to, to keep the water in. And as I mentioned, if you have a breathable system, you want the fabric to be able to allow moisture from inside to escape. So if your face fabric gets to a point that it's completely soaked, your system is not working. Therefore, you need maintenance on your jacket. So just last weekend, I went out and uh, for a walk and it was like really raining outside. And uh, I haven't washed my jacket for a while because it was the summer period and there was not a lot of rain. So I assumed that it was going to be like pretty bad in that respect. And I took a few few shots of that and you can tell like the, the face fabric it is completely soaked on the sleeve or even on the chest uh, part of uh, the jacket. So the whole jacket needed maintenance. So it, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you have to do is uh, follow the guidelines. I use these products here. Uh, to, to maintain my jacket, which is uh, actually made especially for hard shells, uh, Gore-Tex hard shells. And then um, following the guidelines of those uh, products, uh, I, I wash my jacket. I, I put an extra spin, uh, just to uh, an extra rinse, sorry, to, to, to clean all the extra soap that might be in there. And then I dry it. Uh, on, on a medium setting. I don't want it to overheat too much. I also, uh, sometimes like in this case, like it was really bad, I will add the, a spray. That's not something I do every time, but I will add a spray onto the jacket, which helps bring the DWR back onto the jacket. So um, uh, this one is called Repel. Uh, so that's that's what I use. And I, I use it mostly on the sleeve, like the the, the lower part of the sleeves because those are the ones that soaks most and around where I would wear my pack. Those, those are the areas that are more prone. But in this case, I actually sprayed the whole jacket because uh, as you could tell from the first part of the video, uh, uh, it was pretty, pretty uh, intense on the amount of soaking that the jacket was taking. So once the jacket is dry, now it, it stopped raining outside. So just to show you how much it beats the water now that it's been uh, refreshed. I just went into my shower and uh, just like let the shower rain. So you can see how the, the water beads right off the fabric. So that's what you have to expect from your Gore-Tex. And anytime you see a decrease in the amount of uh, performance of the material, you kind of have to redo it. So in my case, uh, when it's active season, I'm in the Pacific North, Northwest, so it starts raining uh, like fall all the way to the end of spring. So uh, in that respect, I'm going to wash my jacket every three to six weeks. Uh, in regards to this Zeta AR, uh, the Gore-Tex on it is not 
the Gore-Tex Pro. So the Gore-Tex Pro uh, kind of gives more of a of a leeway, if you will. Uh, people with Gore-Tex Pro will wash like every two months or whatever. But with the CNET and uh, the uh, fabric that I have on the outside, it, it tends to, I feel it tends to, to allow more of the dirt or the oils to get stuck in it. So I do have to be right on the ball and wash it thoroughly every time I start to see any uh, any uh, lack of uh, repellency on, on the, the fabric. So as far as the, the jacket goes, uh, as pros and cons, I'll add this as a con, that the amount of maintenance uh, for the fact that the CNIT will, like the, the, the ZRIR with the CNIT backing, will need more maintenance than another jacket like uh, made out of the Cortex Pro. But on the other end, I would like to add that uh, the CNIT allows the jacket to be a lot quieter. So if you're familiar with Go Cortex Pro, like it, it's very cr crinkly, it's very kind of plasticky sounding. Uh, the inside is not nearly as comfortable as that. So I, like I mentioned, the Zeta AR being a hiking jacket, uh, I use it for season. So in the summer, if it starts raining and I'm only wearing a t-shirt, uh, the sleeves are gonna be touching my skin. And in the summer, if you're wearing a jacket like this, you're, you're gonna be like more prone to sweating. So the, the comfort of the CNIT next to skin is uh, like by far more comfortable than the backing you would have on the Cortex Pro. So I, I'll put that as a pro. So is it worth like the, the difference like the more maintenance versus the comfort like I'll let I'll let you decide on this one for me it works like I I knew right off the bat that when I bought this shell I would have to do a maintenance on it so the fact that I have to do three to six weeks works for me now let's go around and look at a few of the features of the jacket so the jacket comes with two side pockets and they're located on the outside of the jacket so if you're familiar with like other uh, uh, alterations of Arcteryx jacket, like the Alpha, uh, you would you you know that sometimes they put the pockets right up front here with the close to the, the center the centers. Uh, in regards to this, uh, I actually enjoy having like the the liberty of being able to put my hands in my pocket. Like in regards to the Alpha, it's more of a climbing jacket. It's actually shorter than this one. This one allow more protection on the lower body as well uh, in regards to water protection. But uh, having the pockets here, uh, kind of on the, like on the opposite of a, let's say of an, an alpha, an alpha jacket, like if you're hanging off a rope, off a cliff, you got your helmet and everything and you need to access something, the, the zip is right here and you can access the, the material inside the jacket one-handed. Now, in the, in the regard of those ones, like their upper zips, and then you can put your hands inside for warming up if it's getting cold or whatever. So I actually like this feature as a hiking jacket. Uh, it's really important uh, whenever you look into a hard shell, like especially in a brand like Arcteryx, they're very, very uh, targeted uh, jackets. So like they look at what you're gonna be doing and it's not just a case like, oh, I'll pay more money for my jacket and I'll have something better. It might not work as well. Like an alpha for me, uh, although it's a nice jacket, would not work as well because it, it's shorter, it, it's uh, harder, uh, it's a, it's a Gore-Tex Pro, so it's thicker, it's heavier. It's The pockets are on the, uh, on the, on the center zip here, so you kind of have to cross to, to get your, your stuff. So uh, it's all things you need to look into when buying a, a purchasing a, a jacket like this, like all the features. Now, in regards to Arcteryx, like the, the, the zips, pocket zips are all waterproof here. The pit zips also are waterproof and that allows regulation of uh, the temperature inside the jacket. You can also regulate obviously with the center zip. Now the center zip is not waterproof, but it has a baffle inside, so it prevents the water from coming in. Uh, you also have an inside pocket here, uh, which is very kind of stretchy. It allows you to put electronics. They're protected from the outside 
weather because it's obviously in a Gore-Tex membrane. And uh, I, that's usually where I carry my iPhone on uh, rainy days. It fits a uh, iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, I'm sure it would fit bigger than that because there's still room around uh, for this. Now, as far as adjustment, uh, at the bottom of the jacket on either side, you have uh, like strings that that's gonna stinch at the 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 tie section uh, to to create like to, to retain all the heat if that's something you want to do. Uh, there is another adjustment in the torso section, and the strings are hidden in the pockets here. Other adjustment will be in the hood or at the back of the hood here but the storm hood here uh, doesn't allow you room for a helmet so like I said like what while searching for a hiking jacket a hiking jacket I don't do any scrambling I don't do any climbing and, and the such so all I need is something to protect me from the element uh, while I'm outside and uh, the, the kind of harder brim section here contours very well my hat when I go hiking so that's like just like my, my whole face is protected so that's that's a great feature but if, if if you use your jacket for like biking and hiking you might want to go for the beta AR because that one allows you to have like a, a helmet on the knee it's just a bit shorter and it's also Gore-Tex Pro. The cuffs comes with a Velcro adjustment, which is very easy to use and I, I really, really like it. Uh, in my case, I'm 5'11", about like between 180 and 195 that I my, my weight tends to, to stay. Um, and then my arms are not as long as those sleeves are, so I'm really happy that I can actually cinch it around my wrist and it doesn't kind of fall off on my fingers. It's a great feature right here. As far as the inside, uh, the, the CNIT uh, backing is extremely comfortable. I think I, I mentioned this uh, a bit earlier in the video uh, that uh, when, when you're hiking in the summer and it's raining and you, 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 you really want to cover up, uh, and you're only wearing a t-shirt like that that fabric is really really comfortable the this material being layered the way it is is actually not as noisy as a Gore-Tex Pro that you would have on a different jacket so I, I would put that as a pro as well so like I mentioned I'm 5'11 and I'm about like 180 to 195 and um, uh, this is the extra large version of the jacket so that allows me uh, room to layer so most of the time my layers are going to be this kind of uh, under armor uh, cold gear uh, uh, mid layer and then i've got a base layer so that's usually what i wear uh, but in the winter months and uh, when i get to camp i wanted to have room to have a puffy jacket and i use uh, the serum lt with this together and there's like plenty of room and it, it fits really well and like they, they they work very well together so so in conclusion uh, after two years of wearing this jacket would i recommend anybody to to get this jacket absolutely it's a great jacket if it fits your purpose by this i mean this jacket can be used all season so you can use it in the summer you can use it to hike with your family, you can use it to go out in the snow, you can use it uh, as a wind shell, uh, I use that to summit uh, a few mountains, I, I, I mean it's great protection, it's good to have you in your pack, it's uh, reliable, it's a no-brainer. Uh, so anyway, so I hope this uh, review was helpful in any way, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, I wish you well. Mm -hmm.